viewers and how are you doing today? Today, we'll be treating circumference of a circle in mathematics for grade five. I am Mr. Ama, listening attentively as we progress. There are listed objectives here that you are expected to cover at the end of this lesson. You should be able to define circumference of a circle you should also be able to find the circumference, state the formula for finding circumference of a circle. And you should be able to solve problems involving finding circumference of a circle. What is circumference of a circle? It is simply the distance round a circle. OK? In other plane shapes, I'm sure you are, you've been hearing of perimeter. The perimeter of a circle is simply the circumference of a circle. However, you use circumference for circular shapes. OK? Good. There is a constant, pi, that is always used when finding the circumference of a circle. Are you getting me? It's a mathematical constant. And is the ratio of what? The circumference to the diameter of the circle. It has mathematical symbol. It has a mathematical symbol of this. This is the mathematical symbol for pi. And the value for this is 22 over 7 in form of an improper fraction. Pi also have an equivalence of decimal fraction, which is 3.1428. OK? Sometimes the examiner may ask you to use a value that is approximated to 3. Take note, these are all values for finding for pi, OK? Are you getting me? All right. Now, let's take it step by step on how to find circumference of a circle. One, when the radius is given, the formula for finding circumference of a circle differs from when the diameter is given. Let's first of all find the circumference of a circle when the radius is given. Let's make an attempt in sketching a circle. I'm sure you know how to use your compass. I'm picking mine. This is a compass. OK? I'm sure you can identify this tool in your mathematical set. OK? I'm making an attempt in sketching my own circle. OK? This is a circle. OK? This, I, I hope you can see that this is an electronic board. OK, so whatever we do here is, ele is electronic, OK? We have to take it step by step. However, OK, so let me use a line that is more accurate. I hope you are following me. OK. This is the, radio, the line representing the radius of the circle from the point center to any end at the what, circumference of the circle. OK, let's input a value. Seven cm. OK, we are going to be finding the circumference of this circle with radius 7 centimeter. How do we go about it? Let's use this acronym for circumference. OK? Recall that when radius is given, it has the formula 2 pi r. OK? We are going to be taking pi as 22 over 7.
This is the constant that we are going to be adopting for pi, the value we will use for pi in finding this, okay? You take it gradually and carefully. This is your two times. As these numbers are written closely like this, it simply means two times pi times r. Are you getting me? Whenever a number is closely, for instance, look at this. This is what? X times Y. Are you getting me? Okay. Let's continue. 2 times 22 over 7 times, what's the value for the radius here? 7. If you like, you can put over 1. You can put over 1. Are you following? 7 at the denominator will strike off 7 a day, numerator. Please don't make a mistake of striking two numbers at the denominators. It must be the value of what number of uh, denominators are in the numerator you are going to find. Are you getting me? So 7 into 7 is 1. At the numerator, 7 into 7 is 1. We are left with 2 times 22 times 1 over 1. I'm taking it gently like this so that you know you won't have a problem. In some cases, the radius may be given as a fraction. Are you getting me? All right, so this is simply 44. 44 times 1 over 1 is 244. But let's take it gradually. This is 244. Now, if I may ask, what is the unit for circumference? Unlike area, is it in centimeter or centimeter square? Take note, circumference is simply in centimeters or meters, okay? So we have CM here. It's going to reflect here. CM, that's 44 centimeter. Don't forget, this is when radius is given. I hope you've gotten this. Look at it. I'm going to take us on another similar example when diameter is given. When the diameter is given, we are picking our compass. This is the circle, isn't it? Recall that previously, previously it was radius, which was from the center. Now we are going to solve it when diameter is given. What's diameter? It's simply the line that divides a circle into what? Two equal halves, okay? It goes from one end of the circumference to the other end through the center of the circle. Do you remember that? Good. So this is, this is the diameter. Isn't it? Good. So what radius do you want? We can still pick 7 as radius. This time around, it is not the radius that is 7. It is the diameter that is what? 7 cm. Remember that there's a relationship between diameter and radius, okay? Now, let's go. When diameter is given, it's simply what? Pi d. Don't forget, when radius was given, it was simply what? 2 pi r, now it's pi d. We are taking pi as a constant, which is also what? 22 over 7, okay? That's what we are using pi with respect to what we are doing now, okay? So let's take it gently. What is pi? 22 over 7 times the diameter, 7 cm. You have the option of putting your 7 cm directly or just putting the 7 at the end of the day, you put your centimeter. So here, I'm putting... 
I'm adding my centimeter here. Are you getting me? So, seven as usual. At the denominator, we we'll strike off seven. At the numerator, I hope you are following what you are doing. Okay, what are we left with? We are left with 22 times 1 cm. Okay, which is 22 cm for the circumference of this cycle. Okay, um, before I give you the exercise which you have to do, let me check the content of our exercise this year. But before I give you this exercise, I want to stress further on the relationship between radius and diameter. Please don't forget, in area, you only use what? Radius. Are you getting me? But in circumference, you can use your radius or diameter. You can simply convert diameter. Diameter is simply what? Two times of your radius. Okay? That means, what will your radius be? This will go, isn't it? Your radius will simply be your diameter divided by 2. Okay, so you have the free will of choosing in between 2 pi r or pi d in finding the circumference of your circle. However, when you are find, when is, if it's area, please stick with your radius. Thank you very much. And um, you have this little exercise to go through and practice by yourself. You have to find the circumference of the following circle with the given radii. Radii is the plural of radius, okay? And diameters. Take pi as 22 over 7. When the radius is 7 cm, number 2, 14 cm. When the radius is 3.5 cm, 3.5 cm, what, do I, what am I expecting you to do? change it to what? An improper fraction. Are you getting me? When the diameter is 7 cm and when the diameter is 14 cm. Thank you very much. I hope you've understood what we have done so far and I expect you to go over it over and over again and assimilate it very well and have a nice day. We'll see you next time. Thank you.